NFL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, if you were hoping for one big snowstorm to finally go out on winter on, well, you're not going to get it. Not with this one, at least. This one is a very weak one uh, that will be coming in here as we go through the rest of today and then lasting into tomorrow. And it's really going to be focused in our southern counties. And even then, it's a pretty low impact event for us. We start, though, with a live look from our uh, with our temperatures at this hour. We're seeing uh, some chilly numbers back into our eastern counties where skies were clearer, just a little bit longer near freezing around uh, Lebanon, uh, 34 degrees in Lancaster at this hour, 41 in Chambersburg where the clouds are a little bit thicker and have been moving in over the last couple hours and 32 degrees currently in and around York. And we're also seeing the clouds as we take a live look in York right now. Mostly cloudy skies here in the White Rose City. And as you can see on satellite and radar, we are picking up those thicker clouds now moving through. Also starting to see some rain or snow showers on the bottom left side of your screen. And that is our system. It's snowing in the mountains of West Virginia right now. And this is actually one of the areas that could pick up about three to six inches of snow. But keep in mind the elevation there about 2000 feet. Temperatures cold enough for that. And as this moves towards us, actually going to be focused mainly turnpike south probably closer to the Maryland border, if anything, at seeing that chance of wintry weather doing any sort of accumulation whatsoever. And even then, it's probably going to be a coating on the grass at most by the time this whole thing is all said and done. But as you can see, it's almost strung out into two pieces. A couple days ago, we were thinking this might come through as one piece, which is why we had the potential of being a little bit more of a moderate impact event. But as of now, it looks like these are actually going to stay separated. And as a result, a faster moving system and also a weaker one as a whole and going to be be staying mostly to our south. So clouds on the increase through the rest of the morning hours. We'll watch for the rain and snow showers to arrive here probably as early as the late morning hours, but again, mainly focused in our southern counties. And there will be little to no accumulation with any of this today because look at our temperatures. We'll be climbing up to the middle 40s today in areas that see the rain or snow probably closer to the low 40s, but still that's way too warm to be seeing uh, any sort of accumulation on the roadway, certainly on the roadways and maybe even on the grass too. But as we go into tonight, temperatures will cool down. There still will be a a few lingering light snow showers, but again, mainly focused in those southern counties. The farther south you go, the higher chance you have it seeing maybe a little bit of a coating overnight tonight on those grassy spots. Then we head into tomorrow and mostly cloudy skies for us. Some snow showers may linger in our southeastern counties and uh, should be starting to taper off to just some flurries by the time we hit the late evening hours, certainly by the time we go into the overnight highs tomorrow near 40. And by the way, March snow is not all that unusual. In fact, on average, we see a little bit over three inches every single March. So far this March, we've only recorded about two tenths of an inch of snow. That was back on the fourth of the month. And, uh, you know, obviously it can snow pretty hard in March. A lot of people remember the Superstorm of 93. Well, that one put down 20.3 inches of snow, and that was the most we've seen in the month of March. Not going to be seeing that much snow with this storm system, that's for sure. Most of this activity will stay down to our south, and as you can see, really skirts right along the Mason-Dixon line. It could actually be even Route 30 south from the focus for this. And as we go into the afternoon, those rain snow showers continue for us in those southern areas. Overnight tonight, they spread, try to spread at least a little farther to the north with those snow showers continuing for us. Then we head through the day tomorrow. Most of the activity shifts off to the east. There could actually be some thinning of the clouds in our northern counties late tomorrow. Don't expect much, if anything at all, if you live north of the turnpike from this system. Then we head into Monday. The system's gone. It's a blustery day overall, and those temperatures generally in the 40, mid 40s in some places. Snow accumulations not going to be a big deal for us. As you can see, most of the accumulations back towards West Virginia. Elkins could pick up near four inches of snow. That's in the mountains. Even a little bit of a dusting in, uh, around Maryland and possibly our southern counties too. Maybe an inch or two along the Jersey Shore. But here, most of the Susquehanna Valley is not going to be seeing much in the way of accumulation at all. Weak system for sure for us. Blustery and cold into Monday once again. Then we recover back to the 40s on Tuesday, or near 50 on Tuesday. Back into the 60s on Wednesday with some showers. And then we make another run near 70 degrees. So it's a short-lived period of some wintry weather. <laughs> and you don't have to wait long to get back into some spring-like weather for us. So I can't wait until Thursday then. You, you wait until Thursday. Thursday? Yes, uh, it's looking right. good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm holding on. There I'm holding go. on now. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.